What is going on guys? Today I want to do a small experiment. I want to see the effects of plant growth regulators in different plants. So I'm making six different types of media. One is control and the other ones will be equivalent of one milliliter per liter of NAA, IBA, BA, Kinetin and TDC. The media is half MS, one milliliter per liter of PPM, 25 grams of sucrose and four grams of gel and gum. The only difference will be the PGRs. I'm adding 250 milliliters to each deli container to mix the PGR separately. Using my micro pipette, I'm adding 250 micros of PPM. Now I'm adding food coloring to label each media. And finally, I'm adding the 250 microns or 1 milliliter per liter of each plant hormone. For this experiment, I want to test each PGR separately. Later on, I will test different combinations and concentrations. There are so many combinations we can test using 5 different plant growth regulators, so I'm going to be making more videos like this in the future. This is the simplest experiment I can do just to see what happens. If you miss the video where I made the stock solutions, I pretty much have a lifetime supply of PGRs. And yes, I made 12 cups instead of 10 for this one. I noticed it when I was loading the pressure cooker, so I fixed it. I made 60 cups for this experiment, 10 for each PGR and 10 more for the negative control. The negative control is MS Media without PGRs. I'm going to be using 5 different plants, Dalintonia Californica, Drosera Capillaris, Pear Wheat, Mexican Pinguicula and S. Rapids, and each media is going to have 2 of the same plant. I'm cleaning my phone using alcohol to take pictures of each plant. I don't have a set goal for this experiment, I only want to see the reaction of each plant to different hormones. For this reason, the size of the plants I'm using doesn't really matter, as I'm only going to compare each plant with itself and not with others. Something I'm going to do in the future is trying to find the best combination for multiplication and rooting, so let me know what plants you want me to experiment with. I think it would have a good potential for a new series. I'm going to start with the plants I already have established in tissue culture and have many of them. For the plants I don't have yet, it may take a while, but I want to do it at least once a month, or even bi-weekly. I may do a Google spreadsheet with a list of plants I have in tissue culture and their status. It may be a good place to add recommendations, let me know what you think. For the plants I choose for this experiment, I choose them because they are very different. The Darlingtonia californica grows by the stolon, the Drosera capillaris is a carnivorous roasted plant, the pear weed is a very small aquatic plant, the pinguicula is another very different carnivorous plant, and the S. rapen is an aquatic steam plant. Something they all have in common is that they propagate very quickly in tissue culture. I can propagate tons of these plants each week. This is a long term experiment and I will do regular updates, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us on all social media. We are going to post pictures of these plants there.